Welcome to Hilo High School, home of the Mighty Vikings. In this video, we will be going over the grade 9 recommended electives. If you look at your registration form, you will see you can select up to 6 elective classes. In the end, only one or two of them will be selected for you. It is important to fill out this form with your preferences. Incomplete forms may result in an assignment to any of our electives. As we share videos from these classes, please note the ACCN number or course number listed at the end of each course video. Not all classes were shown, but if you are interested in a course not presented, you can find the ACCN code in the registration guide or the grade 9 recommended elective sheet. The first area is fine arts. For visual arts, there is photography, ceramics 1, computer art, general art, and drawing and painting 1. Here is a look inside some of these classes. Photography 1 is an introductory course to photography, where the basic techniques of composition, exposure, lighting, camera care, and operation will be taught. Editing techniques will be taught on Adobe Photoshop, and some advanced skills and techniques will be introduced as well. I joined photography because I had never been able to work with a camera before, like for real, and be able to learn everything about it and everything like that. The thing I enjoy most is being able to walk around campus and take pictures of things that maybe I didn't notice before, just walking around during recess or lunch. Um, we learn a lot of stuff, like mainly editing photos, but like it's more than that, you know, like we put our pride in our work and that's something that really teaches us to do. It's like do more than what meets the eye. Well, we learn the different parts of the camera, how to hold it, how to take the pictures, what angles to take the pictures at, which can really change the whole idea of the picture. We learn how to edit on the computer and submit those designs of the picture that we took and send it to our teacher so she can grade it. And my pictures that I've taken, I think are super awesome. And I've never done anything like that before, so yeah. To sign up, enter course code F B P one zero 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 on your registration form. Computer art is an introductory course to explore the use of digital media for the creation of art. Computer software such as Photoshop and Illustrator will be used in addition to digital cameras, scanners, printers, and copiers. The emphasis will be on creating original images, manipulating existing images, and using the unique characteristics of digital media for personal expression. The student will apply the elements and principles of art to their work as they use digital tools for artistic expression. I already had an interest in digital and animation, so I thought, might as well take computer art, because I'm not as interested in physical art as I am digital. Well, I wanted to take computer arts to help improve my skills of maybe becoming an animator to be more better with technology of art designing and maybe become very great at it to help others and make my own uh, arts of design of technology. So far, it's the independentness that we have because we're not completely bound to just here, you have to do this certain thing. You can, obviously there's criteria you have to fill, but it's the overall creativeness you're able to have. Uh, learning new skills from computer arts help get more better to get used to it and improve. To sign up, enter course code FVW1000 on registration form. Drawing and painting is a beginner's level course to drawing and painting. Students are given the opportunity to practice a variety of skills and experiment with a wide range of 2D materials. Topics will relate to visual culture, art history, and contemporary art. Students will develop their own artistic style by creating and reflecting on their artwork. I took this class because art is a good learning experience. It opens your mind to a whole new world and you can just get creative in here. I enjoy all the projects you can see. It gives us, it's like, very eye-opening. You can just see the world from a different perspective. We kind of like work with you know, shady colors, watercolors. Students should take this class because Ms. Z is just a good teacher. It's just a good learning environment and you can just learn all kinds of new art skills. It's fun. You could improve a lot and you could also connect with others through your art, express how you feel through your art. Well, to sign up, enter the course code FVQ1000 on your registration form. 
Next area is music. For music, there is intro to band, band one, orchestra one, piano one, guitar one, and music technology. Here's a look into some of these classes. In orchestra, students will learn the fundamentals of string playing on the violin, viola, cello, and string bass. Prior music experience is preferred but not required. Ability to read music will be beneficial and accelerate students' learning. To sign up for orchestra, enter code FMV2000 on your registration form. Piano One is a course for students who want to learn beginning piano. Students will learn basic piano skills and musicianship. Hello, my name is Ariel, and what made me join this class was I wanted to be able to play a random piano I found in public in front of people and hopefully go viral one day randomly. The reason why I chose to do this class is because I've always wanted to do the piano. Uh, when I was younger, my family couldn't really afford lessons. So when I found that there was an opportunity for me to learn right in camp on campus, I just, I really wanted to go. So when I finally had a free elective, I just put that in and I could finally learn how to play piano. Not only is it free right here on campus, but you don't even need prior music experience to even participate. Yeah, you, you learn pretty much everything from the beginning over here. And I think piano really provides just the best, is the best way for you to learn music. After successful completion of Piano One, there are more levels of piano classes available where you can continue to practice piano technique and styles. To sign up for Piano One, enter code FMK1000 on the registration paper. Guitar is a class for students who want to learn to play guitar. Students will learn guitar performance skills while learning the fundamentals of music. Various styles of music will be covered, including classical, folk and pop, and slack key. No experience is necessary. Uh, I took it because I used to play a lot of uke, so I wanted to try to see if it would help me in guitar, because it seems fun. Uh, I took guitar because I love music and I wanted to learn how to play the instrument. Uh, my only advice is just to have fun, really. If without fun, there's really no point. Definitely like practice if you can, because if you don't practice, you're gonna forget how to do things. To sign up, enter course code FMF1000 on your registration form. Did you miss out on playing in beginning band in middle school? In introductory band, students will learn the fundamentals of reading and playing music using a woodwind, brass, or percussion instrument. Students will be required to perform one concert per semester in the fall and spring. After you finish introductory band, you can continue playing in band 1 through 4. To join introductory band, enter code FMB1000 on your registration paper. The last area in fine arts is drama, theater, and dance. For drama and theater, we have beginning acting, and for dance, we have creative dance 1 and Hawaiian dance 1. Here's a look inside some of these classes. Beginning acting focuses on pantomime, creative dramatics, and improvisations. Students are taught basic techniques of movement, character, and voice, practicing these techniques through dramatizations and improvisations. Body and vocal exercises, along with techniques of relaxation and sensory awareness, lead to performance projects that are presented before an audience. I took this class because I wanted to learn how to be more comfortable in my own body in a way. And uh, learn new um, social skills. I'd have to say um, Miss Williamson's like energy that she puts into teaching us, which make, really makes it easy for me to um, take in all the information that she's giving. I learned, well, currently learning how to be more louder and that it's okay to feel a little scared, but we're, we're all working on it together. To sign up, enter course code FTA1300 on your registration form. Ah, ika hula. Wa ihu ka hila hila makahale. When one wants to dance hula, bashfulness should be left at home. This beginning Hawaiian dance course is designed to provide students with the opportunities to learn the historical, cultural, and expressive significance of the hula. The course will cover hula basics, such as protocol, basic hand gestures of the hula kahiko, 
traditional, and hula owana, contemporary. Students will also learn about costume and laymaking. Implements will be introduced at appropriate levels. In this class, mainly, we learn how to dance hula, but there's a lot behind that because since this is a Hawaiian hula dance class, we have to learn the language, number one, to learn what the meaning of the songs are. We learn a lot of different things like team bonding. We tend to get closer as the class goes on and throughout performances, we all get closer and it's just really fun. Some benefits we have from joining this class is we can communicate easier with each other and we also get closer with each other. For example, in the beginning of the year, we all never really knew each other and now we're like family due to this class. I feel like it's good for our culture, especially if you're Hawaiian. It's a way to continue the culture and keep it alive, to learn more about our Hawaiian culture, and it's just something fun to do. To sign up, enter course code FDK1000 on your registration form. Next, we have world languages. In world languages, we recommend Hawaiian 1, Japanese 1, and Spanish 1. Here's a look inside some of these classes. The Hawaiian course begins with simple greetings, courtesy expressions, and classroom expressions. Students learn through guided practice, pairings, and group collaborations and will present what they learn on a variety of topics such as family, everyday life, and self. Students will also learn how to understand, speak, read, and write the Hawaiian language and at the same time be immersed with the values and custom of the Hawaiian people. The reason I joined Hawaiian was to learn about my culture and further my education in Hawaiian culture. I joined um, this Hawaiian class when I was in my ninth grade, so I started as a first year. And right now I'm a junior as my third year in Hawaiian class. I wanted to join this class because I wanted to learn more about my Hawaiian culture and all the traditions and even how to speak the language so I could speak it with my aunties and uncles on the other islands. The thing I enjoy most is learning about what we do here on our islands and learning about our culture because it just, our culture is different from every other culture and to learn our ways is the best to me. I enjoy mostly Kumuaba and the people in, the, in my papa. Everyone is just so loving and caring and like we can all joke around and still learn at the same time. So it's a really fun environment. Um, the things we learn in Hawaiian is how to speak the language, how to master the language while also having fun and being there for each other as a team. Stuff that I learned that um, Kili probably brought out was the Makahiki games, all the traditions that we used that our ancestors used to do. And it's just a fun thing to learn about because you could know like, oh, our kupuna used to do that, our ancestors and their ways back then. It was a really cool knowledge to think about. Um, besides learning the language, we play games, Hawaiian traditional games. We learn about Makahiki, which is like a time where Hawaiians would gather around and learn about like their food, their culture. And, so, yeah. I think students should take this class because there's always something more you can learn about the Hawaiian tradition and culture. And Kumuaba tries to, um, does her best on teaching everybody about um, traditions and just everything mainly about Hawaiian culture. A student should take Hawaiian because we are from an island, Hawaiian islands. And to me, it's like nothing's better than learning what is what happens down here and what we learn from down here. Yeah. If you overthink it, it'll come hard to you. But if you slowly go through it and practice over and over again, learning the language and talking to Kumala about everything, you'll slowly get better and better, like how I did. Come on. <laughs> oh, my advice would be to talk to Kumala about it. And she's a very chill teacher. And yeah, she'll give you advice about it. And if you're interested, just talk to her. To sign up, enter course code WPH. 1000 on your registration form. In Japanese 1, students will practice how to communicate and present on a very familiar topics using a variety of words and phrases that help practice and memorize. Hiragana and katakana letters will be introduced and practiced, and students will read and write, learn or memorize 
words and phrases in hiragana and katakana. What made me join Japanese class was that I wanted to get more involved in like the culture and I just wanted to know more about it so like I could go traveling one day and have no problem speaking the language. So my dad's side's family is Japanese. Um, my grandma and my great-grandma, they were immigrants here and they had, my grandma had six children, one of them being my dad um, and only one of them knew how to speak in Japanese. So I wanted to be um, one of the other people in the family to be able to speak because it's only only one of my uncles to speak Japanese and my grandma that was it. My favorite thing about Japanese class is that we always have like different assigned seatings for the day so you don't always sit by the same person so you always sit like by a different person so you get to know not only the person but you have an opportunity to you know have a different working environment. I like everything about it. It's fun. Um, Plus, you know, I wanted to learn Japanese, like I just said, because of my family, my culture. The, the, the class overall is fun. You're going to enjoy it. I just recommend just joining because, like, it's just fun. You know, it's never the same thing every day. You get to learn something new every day. You meet new people every day. So, yeah. To sign up, enter course code WAJ1000 on your registration form. If you're considering taking college after high school and want to get to know what's expected in college before you start, then the upcoming video about AVID will let you know what's in store. Here's a look into the AVID class. This course focuses on AVID, Advancement via Individual Determination Program. AVID is a course designed to assist students with college readiness coursework with the emphasis on analytical writing, preparation for college entrance and placement exams, study skills and test taking, note taking and research. See an AVID site coordinator for more information. I took AVID um, because I knew the teacher from my middle school and uh, ever since I participated in the class, I really grew to enjoy it. Well, I took AVID as an easy class because I thought I took it like a few years ago, my seventh grade year, as well as my eighth grade year. Eighth grade year, I might as well take it and continue, and I did. This class is about preparing for college, so if you plan on going to college, you should definitely take this class as it'll help you prepare for that. I think for students who choose this class, just enjoy it, have fun. There will be times where it does get tiring, but you do learn new things and it will be good for the future. Those skills will be very, very helpful and achievable for you. To sign up, enter course code TGG8090 on your registration form. JROTC1 or Junior Reserves Officer Training Corps offers cadets an introduction to the Army. Here's a look into JROTC. The mission of Leadership Education and Training 1 course provides cadets with an introduction to Army JROTC, American military traditions, customs, and courtesies, moving up in Army JROTC rank and structure, leadership defined, using your leadership skills slash taking charge, stationary movements, steps in marching, weapon safety through air rifle marksmanship, drill and ceremony, and an introduction to methods of instruction in which cadets are taught how to prepare, a short oral presentation, and basic leadership techniques. Emphasis is placed on understanding the duties and responsibilities of citizenship. Cadets are required to wear uniforms one time each week. I'm Cadet Captain Marissa Wishi and I serve as the Battalion S3 Operations Officer. So I take care of all the operations and training in the battalion. Um, my name is Cadet Command Sergeant Major Nicholas Galdonis. Um, I am the CSM of our battalion. My role is to manage our special teams and assist our battalion commander in his personal uh, jobs. I joined JROTC because I was interested in pursuing a college degree through an ROTC scholarship. I joined JROTC because I plan to go into the military after school. So I knew, I knew that JROTC was going to be the right path for me to take. What I enjoy the most about JROTC, good question, there's a lot. First off, um, I love the camaraderie between each of the cadets here. We, we all understand each other and when we, uh, under, when we need to do things, 
uh, that are important, we get it done. And we know, we, know, we know when to have fun and talking amongst each other is pretty relaxed. So uh, the, I would say the environment that we're in is pretty nice. I enjoy the special teams portion of it, uh, specifically the Raiders team. So we participate in physical fitness competitions um, off island and on island with all the other battalions in the state and we get to participate in adventure challenges as well. So through the special teams Raiders, I learned physical and mental toughness in quite harsh situations and just learning how to endure through it. For those who are thinking, definitely come ahead. It's not just for joining the military. Um, it could just be, uh, it could, you could just do uh, join it for the fun, for the fun portions. Uh, my advice to students considering joining JROTC would be to just have fun with it. It's a no pressure situation, like no one's going to judge you, so just have fun as much as possible. It's not, it's not just like military. We don't promote uh, military after high school, but we promote being a better citizen. That's, what, that's our mission. To sign up, enter course code TJR1000 on your registration form. Now we introduce physical education, where students can take Team Sports 1 or 2, weight training, swimming lifetime activities, physical fitness for life, body conditioning, PSP, PFP, and PBP. Here's a look into physical education. Weight and resistance training is a series of courses specifically designed to help students improve their athletic and weight training abilities within the gym. Weight training exercises and programs may include pyelometric, free weights, own body weight, resistance bands, pulleys, medicine balls, and stability balls. Swimming Lifetime Activities is a course designed for students to develop and strengthen swimming skills and principles of efficient stroke patterns. Students also learn safety procedures required to safely and competently demonstrate a variety of swimming skills, such as kicking, floating, breathing, treading water, turning, and a variety of strokes, such as freestyle, butterfly, back, breast, etc. Today we're at the Physical Fitness for Life classroom. These courses are designed to introduce and or reintroduce the basic training principles and personal fitness assessments to guide students in planning or updating and implementing and or continuing fitness training programs. Students will participate in an initial fitness assessment, which could include but is not limited to a mile run, shuttle run, sit-ups, pull-ups, vertical hang, standing long jump, vertical leap, 600 yard walk run, etc. I feel like a lot of people uh, signed up for physical fitness to uh, uh, get in better shape. A lot of these guys, uh, most of them in fact, don't play sports. So I feel like they maybe have friends who do play sports and they maybe wanna um, kind of participate uh, in just being physical um, all around. I love sports, so any physical class I can get, I'll, I'm going to choose and I like to stay in shape. I chose it because I like to work out and stay in shape. It's been great. I got to meet a lot of new people and stay in shape. It's been great. Um, just like to lift heavy and just stay in shape, get my physique done. Uh, this course can help you in the real world um, just by basically being healthy, you know, uh, staying physically active, uh, which we all know. Uh, this in the long run is just for better health, uh, longevity, and um, yeah. It's really good and the teacher's really solid, so just lift. The expectations that I have for the students is um, progression, uh, whether it's um, endurance, whether it's uh, weight loss, uh, everything is just moving forward, you know, staying active. If you're interested in joining the Physical Fitness for Life courses one or two, please view the course catalog for more information. Let's get it! <laughs> Body conditioning is a standards-based course designed to introduce a range of aerobic training activities that could be incorporated into a total body conditioning program. Aerobic activities may include cardio kickboxing, step aerobics, dance aerobics, brisk walking, running and or jogging, swimming, cycling, aqua aerobics, table, etc. As a result of this course, cardiorespiratory endurance, muscular endurance, flexibility, and coordination will improve and an appreciation for aerobics 
as a lifetime activity will be reinforced. Um, I took this class because I'm on the Hilo High girls basketball team and I wanted to stay fit all year. Uh, I took this class, it was for JRTC so I can stay more body conditioned. I um, enjoy like all the like the conditioning that we do and like all just like the body fitness that we put in like the work and stuff like that, like all running, mile runs and just like circus that we do, and just all kind of running stuff. Um, what I enjoy the most is doing the activities we do and with my peers in the class, it's, it's really good. The activities we do, we do a lot of like basketball, soccer, football, and yeah, just all that. Um, what I learned is like all kind of like conditioning, like work kind of circus kind of things and like stamina and stuff like that. You learn a lot. Like you learn to stay conditioned, learn how to keep yourself healthy. Cause like every sport you need to have conditioning, like basketball, volleyball, football, like all of that stuff needs like conditioning to run. A uh, student should take this class cause it's a really good, really good class to take because you learn a lot from it and you just don't know how to keep your body healthy and all that stuff. It's good, it's good to take. I think students should take this class because it will like keep their body fit for like any kind of sports that they want to try out and just like work kind of body conditioning kind of stuff. Like athletes should take this class and if not athletes, students that just want to stay body conditioned um, my advice to students to like never give up and never say I can't because if you say or like talk down at yourself then your negative is just gonna overtake you. So always think positive and like never think ne negative. My advice to students of Hilo High is to just take it because it's a really good class to take. It may seem hard but it's not. Just gotta fight through home. To sign up, enter course code PBP1110 on your registration form. Next is Yearbook 1. Yearbook is a great way to gain journalistic skills and apply those skills to the actual production of the yearbook. After your time at the Freshman Academy, you will be able to take courses following a field of study. If you would like to start early, here are the academies that will be offered to you. Academy of Health and Human Services, Academy of Construction and Design, and the Academy of Business and Natural Resources. Now we'll go over what is offered within these academies. Within the Academy of Health and Human Services, there is Health, Education, and Law and Public Safety. Within the Academy of Construction and Design, there is Architectural Design and Engineering Tech, Advanced Manufacturing, Building and Construction, as well as Information Tech and Digital Transformation. Here is a sneak peek into what the manufacturing class does. Foundations of Manufacturing is an introductory course designed to inform students about careers in advanced manufacturing and related areas, including electronics, welding, automation, robotics, and motor and logic controls. This level one course serves as the foundation course for the automation and robotics technology, electromechanical, and welding programs of study. Upon completion of the course, a proficient student will be able to describe various advanced manufacturing occupations and outline the steps necessary to advance in specific careers, employ to a safely, possess foundational knowledge of advanced manufacturing components and processes, interpret basic project drawings, and demonstrate proper measurement and application of mathematical concepts. Uh, I took this class because I wanted to learn how to weld. I took this class because I, I like welding. Uh, the things I enjoyed the most was welding, learning how to do new things. I enjoyed the most about this class because I get to work with metal. Um, the projects that I made were metal pencil box, uh, laying down beads and drilling stuff. Some projects I've been working on was grinding, building a grinder, and making a pencil case. It's fun to learn and uh, welding is a good trade. People should take this class if they like metals, Welding, all kinds of things. But if they like woods, hit up Mr. Ramos over there on the other side. Shout out Ramos. See you later. And to close out this interview, I see where Ramos is door and he gave him to me. Yeah. Oppo. Oppo. To sign up, enter course code 
TAM1000 on your registration form. Lastly, in the Academy of Business and Natural Resources, we have Hospitality, Tourism and Recreation, Business Management, Finance and Marketing, Agriculture, Food and Natural Resources, as well as Cultural Arts, Media and Entertainment. Now we will have a look inside of natural resources and culinary. This is a great class to take. It's really hands-on. We spend a lot of time outdoors with nature, we take care of our animals, we're starting new plants that we're growing, we harvest fruit from our fruit trees. I like this class because we get to take care of the goats, feed chickens, cut trees, some stuff we can't do in regular classes. Thank you. You should really do this class because you get to do activities, you get to play with goats, and it's really chill overall. I'm taking this class because this class we take care of the animals, clean up all of these trees and stuff, and this land, just all landscaping stuff, and I recommend you guys taking this class. that you would like your students to take away from this course? Well, Caleb, I think the one main thing I want them to get is um, it's important for them to know about the industry of culinary and all of its related um, careers that are possible. The other thing that I think is really important, so I have to give you two. The other thing that's really important is that our students learn um, and develop a good work ethic so that no matter what career choice they make, they can put those same practices into place. What is usually a class favorite dish that you guys make? So one of the favorite labs or labs that um, the students kind of really enjoy is our Thanksgiving lab. That's one of our first big ones for Culinary One. And they are able to roast their own turkey, prepare and roast their own turkey, as well as bake their own pumpkin pies um, and have some fresh cranberry sauce. And they also do um, a sweet mashed potato and they also have to have some tossed green salads. Oh, sorry, forgot the stuffing. And they make dressing for their turkey. If you're interested in culinary as a career, what CTE courses should students take? So I recommend that they start off with the um, Public and Human Services Pathway Core, and they follow it up then with Culinary One and Culinary Two classes. Sounds good. I guess my last question would be, why should students join culinary? I think that the skills that students learn in culinary are not limited only to the field of culinary, but again, they can use it in any career field that they work with. Um, we, they have the opportunity to learn how to work with others, um, and that's a very important skill. Our labs lend itself well to that, and students get to um, do a lot of hands-on practice, which I think they enjoy, and I think we as teachers enjoy working with them in those hands-on lab activities as well. Sounds awesome. We hope that the small preview of our electives and academies have led you to making a firm decision on what your six elective choices will be. Again, all choices should be classes that you are interested in taking. There are more elective promo videos on our YouTube page, youtube.com slash Hilo High School. Go to playlists, then select class promos for registration. There, you will find extended cuts of these videos where you can find more information about these classes. And while you're there, please subscribe and ring that bell. Thank you for watching and welcome to Hilo High School.